हमारे बीच एक बहुत ही इलस्ट्रियस और पॉपुलर और जानी मानी आई ए एस ऑफिसर अवनी लवासा जी आई हैं और आज इस ब्यूरोक्रैट्स इंडिया डायलॉग में हम उनसे कुछ उनके प्रोफेशनल पर्सनल बातों के बारे में चर्चा करेंगे और उनसे जानेंगे कि वॉट डज इट मीन टू ऑक्यूपाई दैट चेरिस्ड पोस्ट ऑफ द आई ए एस चेरिस्ड सीट ऑफ द आई ए एस एंड हाउ मेनी ऑफ यंगस्टर्स हु आर वॉचिंग दिस और हु विल वॉच दिस प्रोग्राम कैन टेक अ लीव आउट ऑफ हर लाइफ जर्नी सो फार अ वेरी ब्राइट ऑफिसर विथ लॉर्ड ऑफ एडमायरेबल वर्क रिकॉर्ड्स बिहाइंड हर दैट वी शैल गेट टू नो यूर मोस्ट वेलकम अबनी लवासा आई ए एस कमिश्नर ऑफ जम्मू म्यूनिसपल कॉरपोरेशन एंड सी ऑफ जम्मू स्मार्ट सिटी टू बिगिन विथ टेल एस यू नो फ्रॉम वेरी प्रेस्टिजियस एल एस आर टू जे एन यू एंड देन द आई ए एस टू द लाल बहादुर शास्त्री अकेडमी हाउ हैज बीन द जर्नी एंड फ्रॉम देयर ऑन टू जम्मू एंड कश्मीर कॉर्डर Uh, first of all i want to thank you for a, a very illustrious introduction um then uh, about the journey uh, the journey that you're talking about i think at every stage it has been a uh, it has been a process of uh, self discovery and learning and um, and and nothing was planned so to speak it just kept happening one after the other and here i am and uh, Uh, that's that and i would i mean the 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 main the one thing that i would like to say is that we are constantly learning and if we think that every stage is a stage of learning we always do better in the next stage uh thank you so much uh you may not know but i am also a pass out of jawaharlal nehru university and it feels so nice to find an mm-hmm. alumnus who is doing so well in life thank you share with us abni your uh current uh, assignment and we find that you have done a lot of very exciting uh, uh, and innovative initiatives please help us to understand what are some of these uh, as ceo of the jammu smart city and the commissioner of jammu municipal corporation and uh, where do you get some innovative ideas like these uh, okay uh, step by step i will try to answer your questions uh, the first a general profile of the job that i'm presently doing the municipal corporation uh, well if you speak to municipal commissioners across the country everyone will will uh, will in one voice vouch for the fact that this is the toughest posting that anyone can have because uh, the corporate every single citizen is a stakeholder when it comes to the work of the corporation Uh, regarding sanitation regarding building permissions regarding development works there are so many things that we do um, that it's just one of the most challenging jobs and uh, well thankless it is but nonetheless the, nonetheless i do know that as a corporation whatever we do it is affecting the lives of every citizen so it's satisfying as well the second role that i'm performing is that of the ceo of the jammu smart city limited and um, i think it's a very good combination of work that i'm doing because with the municipal corporation we are running uh, the daily affairs of the city and with the smart city we are doing project planning which is more of medium term and long term so it's the perfect combination in terms of uh, the opportunities that i have to improve the city so that is what we are doing at the moment or trying to do at least at the moment right uh, we all know that uh, indian cities are certainly not uh, organized majority of the cities are not yeah. as organized as it should have been and uh, we of course credit to the vision of honorable prime minister for having introduced this so how difficult it is avni to have that transition you know because it requires a metamorphosis yeah. in the dna it also has to do with lot of behavioral changes it has has yeah. to do with citizens engagement yeah and it has to be enduring to be effective it has to be enduring so how how challenging are these for you 
you know, considering that we are, yes, we are dealing yes, with Yes, you've actually hit the nail on the head. The, our biggest challenge is that we are working in a situation of a, which is brownfield. It's not a green field where you have a clean slate and you have, uh, you have a city that you can plan and implement it exactly as we plan. We have a very chaotic situation that we have to improve. So that is the first and foremost challenge that we are faced with. So uh, yes, but nonetheless, you know, uh, I'll give I'll give an example. I mean, my own experience before I joined uh, joined the service when um, I, I've studied in Delhi. So Delhi, I would uh, let's say around 2003, four till 2010, till when the Commonwealth Games were held, Delhi was always dug up. You know, so but those seven years, the work that happened in those seven years changed the city, and uh, I think it's truly a world class city now. So uh, the second part of your uh, second part of what you mentioned about behavioral change, unless we have citizens cooperating, unless we have patience and a level of understanding of what we are trying to do, uh, that's where citizen uh, citizens' behavior and cooperation becomes very very important for us. And therefore, um, as an administrator, uh, what we are trying to do right now is to is to try and um, make people aware of what is going to happen, what it's going to look like, so that there is a sense of ownership amongst the people. Um, that is uh, that is how I'll I mean put it in a, in a summary. And uh, you you also asked you know about innovative ideas. So I think. Um, I think if I speak for myself, uh, I have traveled reasonably uh, a lot. Um, there's always scope for more. But I think that experience and um, learning through observing what I see when I travel is something that broadens your vision. And um, therefore, therefore, that is where I think we get ideas from and we try to implement them and do better for what we are, uh, what we are facing right now in our present situation. Wonderful. You recently posted about uh, a very innovative way of organizing the traffic uh, uh, on you, your Twitter handle. Mm -hmm. And we were really enthused at Bureaucrats India. We liked that. We did that story also. So uh, one is, uh, where was that particular idea from? How is it shaping up? How, how are people responding? Uh, the idea was it's uh, not something that is very, uh, it's not a new idea, so to speak, but it's a very... Uh, it's a very challenging experiment that uh, that we do because it requires a lot of coordination with the traffic police, with the local stakeholders. But surprisingly, and you know, it was so encouraging that the local market uh, association there, they, it was almost like they were waiting for this to happen. So, uh, so I realized that you know, if we when we try to do something, if we try to implement a project, if we try and understand what the requirement of the people, uh, the citizens is. And what are their demands? If our projects are tailored to meet those demands, there is automatically a lot of support. And obviously, you know, there are always, you know, those five, 10% people who are cynical, critical. That that keeps going on. But I was, it was a very pleasant surprise to see that people were receptive. That's the first, uh, that's the first thing. The second thing about how it's going. Uh, again, I in fact I just uh, visited it. Uh, day before yesterday and I was again I was surprised except for one lane that was for the matador except uh, there were some few odd um, illegal unauthorized I wouldn't say illegal unauthorized parking there but apart from that it was exactly how we had marked it so that is encouraging as well and now we will try and make uh, permanent interventions so that we can uh, we can basically make those experiments where we had painted and marked, we will make those permanent in terms of either raising the levels or some minor civil work, wherever it's required. So all in all, traffic, as we know, is a major urban problem. It will only become a more serious urban problem in the future. So it's very important that we make these small interventions and improve the lives of the people. Right. In fact, I remember having gone to that market uh, when I was in Jammu many years ago, okay. I guess, I guess mm -hmm. 10 years ago. So uh, very heartening. You're also a good team leader. You know, we hear that story. And uh, recently you had organized a sports event uh, for sanitation employees. Mm -hmm. uh, what was this, uh, what was the objective behind this very out of box initiative? Uh, 
uh, well because i have played sport myself i think uh, a lot of what i am today is because of playing sport and if thank you for saying that i may be a good leader i hope i am but i think a lot of those qualities come from playing sports you know team team work um looking out for the other person in your team being supportive putting others before yourself i think a lot of these qualities come from playing sport um so that is that is one objective that when we are a team especially in the municipal corporation we we know that sanitation workers are the backbone of a municipal corporation so it's very important to make them feel part of the team and that was one of the major ideas that we wanted to uh, do with this event Thank you. You are watching uh, one of India's most uh, dynamic IAS officers, uh, Avni Lavasa, who is the CEO of Jammu Smart City and uh, Commissioner of Jammu Municipal Corporation, and uh, she is in an exclusive interview with Bureaucrats India Dialogue. Uh, thank you for watching. We have much more coming up. Uh, Avni, uh, uh, for sustainable and futuristic development of Jammu City. Uh, jammu smart city limited has entered into an agreement with iit jammu uh, what is the kind of role that you uh, envisage for iit experts in making jammu city in in and i i do understand that there are various other technological integration that happens including for traffic management whatever yeah. little i know of smart city how it is yeah. uh, done so what is the kind of role that you are looking at uh, for iit jammu uh with the with the what we understand with the iit uh, with is, i'll just explain in the smart city plan we have some projects which are like hardcore infrastructure and civil infrastructure projects and there are it related projects and there are also urban mobility related projects so these are three areas where we are um when we make a project report we are we are then asking iit to uh to vet it for us so they give their views and uh, their uh, one they check it technically secondly they obviously give ideas uh, so this is what their role is and um, especially because we uh, we do not uh, we do not have that level of expertise in house so they are supporting us and helping us out with that that's one thing um but you know overall i'll tell you the the sort of entire idea of associating with them is because i believe that um, we as practitioners administrators and especially at my level let's say till we are about 12 13 years of service we are practitioners we are implementers on the field so it's very important for us to constantly interact with academicians and people who are working in theory because uh, because we get so embroiled in what's happening in the day to day affairs of a city of or of a district that we some somewhere we tend to uh, compromise on trying to do the best and that is where i think it's very important that we constantly keep going back to theory and reminding ourselves that you know there's a better way to do it and have some sort of intellectual stimulus so i think it's very enriching to interact with academicians uh excellent uh how optimistic uh, you are about the viability of street development projects in jammu mm. normally mm. streets as you know are heavily encroached upon by yeah. people yeah uh, how is it going uh, as far as jammu is concerned well uh, thankfully we are still in the planning stage and the implementing is what is going to be very very challenging mm. but like i said before and what i said before about delhi and about uh, the citizens being patient with what is happening and they need to understand the vision of what we are doing so uh, we need to work more on that and trying to talk to the stakeholders which we are already doing but you know uh, so so but the real real challenges will come when we start implementing it um so yes we are aware it's going to be challenging however i am confident that when we explain to the people the outcome of what is going to happen uh, they will come on board and uh, like i said there are always about 10% people who may not agree but then and for those people then we have to uh, use some sort of enforcement measures uh so so this is this is the broad picture of how it's going to be and i do realize implementation is very very challenging 
uh, interdepartmental coordination is going to be very important for that. And secondly, we need to obviously have, you know, see, after all, whatever we are doing is for the citizens. So we are not trying to, you know, uproot someone's livelihood. We will definitely uh, have a plan of providing them an adequate rehabilitation if they are getting removed from somewhere. Uh, for the benefit of the audience, uh, Avni, if uh, uh, I will try and use a bit of Hindi also. Uh, mm -hmm. He plan hota hai, mm -hmm. uh, smart city ka. Mm -hmm. To uh, kab shuru hua Jammu smart city ka kaam aur kab tak uh, uska vision kya hai? Kab tak complete hone ki zaman hai? Kitne, smart abhi kitne percent pe hai hum? Smart city uh, Jammu ko smart city 2016-17 mein ghoshit kiya gaya. Yahan pe jo PMC hoti hai, jo project management consultancy hoti hai, wo 2019 mein on board hui thi. So our actual implementation is about 2019. Then the Smart City mission hai, uh, it is a mission of the Ministry of Housing and Urban, Urban Affairs. It is going to probably, I believe, last till 2023, March. So we still have about 18 months to implement our projects. Now, what we are stage pe hai, uh, we are going to tender out all our projects. Jammu Smart City mein 130 projects hai. Total value hai 3,400 crore. I'm just giving you uh, round figures. 3,400 crores. Uh, out of which, jo Jammu Smart City ka khud ka paisa hai, wo kareeb 900 crore hai. To hum is saal ke uh, akhir tak, um, jo ye 900 crore ke projects hai, wo sab tender out kar denge. And then, I mean, as you would know that tendering ek bar but the tender out hum kar sakte hain uske baad there are a lot of things which are not in our control kitne log apply karte hain kaun qualify hota hai nahi hota hai but to lagbhag ye hamari timelines hain ki hum tender out sab kuch december tak karenge to uske baad jo hamare paas 15 mahine hai 15 se 18 mahinon mein ye projects hum khatam karne ki koshish karenge okay uh, another very innovative campaign is your bye bye plastic campaign mm. uh, what is it uh, about it's uh, something actually i personally believe very strongly in, in which is i mean being uh, uh, being very conscious and sensitive towards our environment or ye ek to personally main iske bare mein bahut strongly feel karti hu par uske alawa ab to bahut sari laws hain jo hame mandate karte hain ki hum plastic na istemal kare or uh, laws ke saath saath, there's a lot of activism also. Then as a municipal corporation, you know, we have to prevent the use of plastic. Uh, iska ab technically to, uh, jo iski scientific or uh, technical baate hain, wo ye hai ke plastic is non-biodegradable. So it is a major pollutant. It causes land pollution, it causes water pollution, it blocks your drains, it pollutes your water bodies. All this is there. So our objective yahi hai ke hum logon ko plastic se dur le jaye ek cheez hai jo hum isme humne bar bar plastic campaign mein kiya hai which i feel is something that uh, is very um, is very positive which is ke hum sirf logon ko awareness nahi kar rahe aur ye nahi keh rahe ke plastic mat istemal karo hum sath sath unko ek kapde ka bag bhi de rahe the in exchange for giving us plastic so uh, so as a as a government and as a municipal corporation i feel ke hum jab logo ko kisi cheez ke liye ab pichle 20 saal se plastic ka widely istemal ho raha hai so so it's very uh, it's difficult for citizens to one day just say that acha aaj se hum plastic istemal hi nahi karenge so it's important to give alternatives also so this is what we were trying to do Right. Uh, and and what is about waste management? We know of, uh, uh, we work with a company, our parent company, Grey Matters Communications, uh, which is helping the Amritsar Municipal Corporation in uh, waste management. Uh, now, uh, what is your uh, strategy on waste management? Right. So uh, for Jammu, uh, for i'll start with i'll start uh, process wise the first part is segregation of waste at the primary level at the household level where we are requesting encouraging educating people to segregate waste at their household level and this is a huge uh, huge challenge it's a difficult task but we're working on that then uh, so this is more about awareness campaign then we come to collection of the waste. Uh, I am uh, very proud to say that, in fact, in, in, in Jammu and Kashmir, and uh, Jammu 
tool, obviously, we have achieved 100% door to door collection of waste. And um, after that, uh, then we come to processing of waste and disposal of waste. We have entered into an MOU with NAFID. NAFID is a society of the Ministry of Agriculture. They are setting up a bio CNG plant for us. And uh, they are further going to uh, also set up uh, a material recovery facility and a scientific landfill. This covers all our uh, uh, dis processing and disposal of the waste. We are also working on outsourcing um, the entire collection, transportation, processing and disposal on a PPP model for one third of the wards of uh, Jammu Municipal Corporation. So these are some of the things we are doing. In addition to this, um, the legacy waste sites, basically the old uh, dump sites, which were unscientifically managed. We are clearing one of those sites, uh, which will be completely cleared by December of this year. And uh, the other site we will start clearing in the next month or two. So, I mean, we are all making a lot of efforts to ensure that everything is done scientifically. Uh, Sweta has some questions for you as well. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I mean, over past the few decades, bureaucracy has evolved a lot. Do you think the new form of bureaucracy is people friendly and now people don't hesitate before approaching a bureaucrat with their problems? What's your take on that? Uh, see, I think uh, bureaucrat, bureaucracy has evolved, obviously, and I think uh, uh, with regard to approaching bureaucracy, it has made it a lot of, a lot easier for people to approach because of uh, the presence of social media. And a lot of the bureaucrats being present and responsive on social media, that is a big change that we have seen. And even, uh, even outside that, uh, yes, I mean, like, you know, we talk of generational changes and all. So I do think that uh, uh, bureaucracy has become more uh, responsive, but not to say that previously it was not. I would just say that there were um, the channels to approach were lesser, right? So if you could only physically go and meet someone so up, it's not possible that someone will always be there all the time to meet um, because there's so many other tasks to be performed so that physical limitation was there which has been overcome by technology and social media so that sense yes i think uh, a lot of problems are getting addressed because uh, people are more approachable and um, not just uh, as a system but um, also because of the means that are available um, and as you said, social media, emergence of social media has helped a lot. And that was our next question as well. You are very active on Twitter. Uh, you share uh, many stories on Twitter. Uh, how has social media helped you in carrying out your professional duties? Okay, I'm surprised that you think I'm active on uh, Twitter because I am told that I'm, I'm not very, uh, you know, out there in the media. But anyway, so the point is that the reason why actually i'm a new entrant on twitter so the reason why i thought that i need to be on the social media platform is because specifically because i noticed that when we are doing when we are implementing the jammu smart city projects there are a lot of apprehensions doubts curiosity amongst the citizens so it that answers the next part of your question about how it has helped professionally uh, what I feel is that it's a good forum to just inform people about what is happening. And um, even in the previous discussion, in the previous questions that we have uh, discussed, I've said that it's very important for people to be, uh, to be partners and stakeholders, without which it's very difficult for us to implement these projects, because these are projects for urban transformation. If you're talking about reform and transformation, it cannot be done without the support of the people. Uh, your father, Sri Ashok Lavasa, was an illustrious IS officer. How has he impacted your outlook as an officer? How has he affected your whole journey? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I think everyone is their own person. So it's very difficult to say that uh, as an officer, how he has impacted me. But I'll just say one thing, which he, uh, which he uh, believes very strongly in, that you should not let your official position affect your individuality and your personality like you should always retain who you actually are and there should be a separate official identity in a separate personal space which is very important because i think unless you uh, unless you are a satisfied and a well-rounded person 
you cannot implement this in enormous responsibility that is entrusted upon us uh, by being part of this service. So that is something that uh, I carry with me. I try to at least. Ahi recently uh, published a book, An Ordinary Life, Portrait of an Indian Generation, published by HarperCollins. Are you equally creative? Are you into writing as well? No, I'm not. Uh, I'm not equally creative. Uh, uh, in fact, I'm not creative at all, but so, but I do believe that uh, there is, it's very important to do something that means more to you than work, uh, because, um, like I said, it's very important uh, to, uh, to, uh, to have some time where you uh, can, re where you can unwind and you can rejuvenate. So I, I do that through, uh, through sports and running. And that is very important for, for me personally. And I think everyone should, apart from what they do as their core, uh, core job, uh, have, have an avenue where they, uh, where they can do something, uh, where they can do something else as a hobby, as an extracurricular. It also, it also contributes to you being a more well-rounded person and therefore helps in the work that you're carrying out actually. Okay, so we promised you 30 minutes and we'll wrap it in in 30 minutes. Any closing remarks and then let me uh, have a question. We, we have, uh, uh, you know, like I said in the beginning that uh, there are diverse audiences for this. So yeah. uh, what are the sports that you like, uh, Avani? I am, uh, I did athletics. I always did athletics in school. So that is something and well, I run, so I'm still continuing that, but I am a huge tennis fan and I'm a, I'm a Rafael Nadal fan, big, big Nadal fan. Ah, okay. All right. <laughs> and uh, did you find time to uh, watch any of the IPL matches? Uh, I watched the final yesterday, but IPL is more of entertainment ra rather than sports. So that's something that... <laughs> Right. That has, uh, we have seen that transition of sport. Yes, events. yes. Yes. And I think, well, it works for sport in a sense that it has attracted more people and more people have started playing and looking at sports as a profession, as a profession that they can actually pursue. So it's, it's good overall. Mm -hmm. and, and no wonder you get uh, that inspiration to, like you did uh, that for sanitation employees and you organize a lot of extracurricular activities. Uh, what are some of the tips for young aspiring uh, students who want to get into the civil services? Um, I will, uh, it's, I mean, there can be a lot of tips, but uh, to put it, to put it in brief, I think there are three main things that we can, uh, that we should do when we are preparing. One is to have clarity, clarity of thought, um, in terms of uh, in terms of what is our what is our goal not to get wavered about uh, you know kisi ne aaj bol diya ye pad lo to ye pad liya fir kal wo pad lo to wo pad liya not that we should be very clear about uh, what we what our target is what we want to do the second uh, thing is uh, second thing is um, the discipline so Clarity and discipline are very important. Uh, I'll just, uh, obviously we don't have uh, the time and I mean, it's just endless when we talk about UPSC preparation, but I think discipline is very important because uh, if, we, if we just think, if we are over ambitious and uh, before, when we start preparing for the prelim, if we start thinking about the interview, then that doesn't work. I think we should take one day at a time make a schedule stick to it so that's where i'm talking about discipline one day at a time if you've decided to do something at a particular time just do it and and take it one day at a time and that just automatically becomes weeks and months and the results do show and uh, in fact uh, so i'll uh, just quote rafael nadal on this uh, what i'm saying about taking one day at a time he always says that play the point and not the score. So don't think about the result and the outcome of the match, play the point. So do your best in whatever you're doing. If you're reading one page of political science, do that very well. And I mean, do that from a point of view of that you want to learn and you want to gain knowledge. And that I think works really well. And I would certainly want to know about your some anecdotes from JNU, if you may have, and how an institution impacts or shapes one's life. 
you were a day scholar or a hostler i was i was a day scholar i think well about jnu instead of an anecdote i would just like to say that the entire vibe of the place is very liberating and it's just uh, it's a pleasure to be there because uh, because you can be who you are and that's very important uh, and it's very important to uh, um, to have that conviction of being who you are and jnu allows you to do that would i would you agree being from jnu absolutely yes absolutely yeah. very well that's, said that's one takeaway i think that is definitely about jnu right great i think uh, thank you very much uh, avni lavasa again uh, you seem extremely focused and i'm reminded of a famous quote from jig jigler lack of direction and not lack of time is the problem we all have 24 hours a day you seem extremely focused and uh, determined to carry out the task uh, thank you very much for taking time out for us for sharing your experiences your vision and your plans and we wish you the very best we shall request you uh, sometime again and till then uh, thank you very much one last message for bureaucrats india please uh but first of all before a message i want to thank you for your extremely kind words and uh, and being being a bureaucrat i just hope that i can actually live up to all the all the extremely nice adjectives that you've used for me message for bureaucrats india is uh, that i think it is a very uh, important thing these days to put out good stories and positive stories of the work that we can do not just as bureaucrats but um, but as citizens and as uh, any citizens group any individual uh, so i think this is this is a lovely wonderful forum where we focus on positive stories because it is these positive stories that will ultimately uh, lead to a new india something that uh, the entire government is trying to work towards a new india because it's not just about infrastructure it is about uh, it's about citizens contribution it is about uh, new ideas and it is about a behavioral change so um, so uh, positivity is uh, what i um, i have seen in the last half an hour and that is something that we really really need so thank you thank you very much because i um, me being a student of communication and you can see i have a very vibrant team of youngsters uh, whom i assist and uh, the whole focus has been on celebrating positivity thank you very much and you help us magnify this and uh, once again there were some questions but uh, uh, respected friends uh, avni ji has to leave for another meeting like you know she is very busy so we shall have your question answered either on her twitter or uh, personally uh, thank you very much thank you to my team uh, sweta vigya pooja uh rajiv ranjan roy for helping me with this thank you all very much thank okay. you thank you